Sunday morning, Catalina Island, back ashore. Good morning, everybody. Well, we decided to do a little exploring. Here's the trail we normally go down. Our boat is back out there. And this is a lone building that's off on this little, this little walkway that comes around here and then stops right there. And it's kind of surrounded by water. There's a little thumb sticking out from the island. And I have no idea what it is. A propane tank, a dumpster. It may be privately owned. It may be <coughs> what the island uses for parties or leases out for pr private parties. I don't know. We'll uh, Google Earth it and see what's up with it. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that it wasn't as cold as yesterday when we uh, kayaked up. Well, I think her foray into the water, up to her belly, was the bravest thing she's done. And uh, I'm not sure she's going to repeat it. <coughs> she just kind of stood there for a minute like she was in shock that she had done it. Yeah. She may have slipped a little bit or not realized, maybe the waves pulled her, one of the waves pulled her out, the little ripples. Because there tends to be a little bit of an undertow when they go out. We've decided we're going to sail out, although we do have the engine running, we're not going to put it in gear. We're going to sail out of the anchorage. <clears throat> As you can see behind me over here, we have one sailboat that's pulled in behind us. So that's why I opted to have the engine idling in case we start to kind of go back into him. Might be nice not to run into the other boat. Uh, you guys can comment, let me know what you think. This Some people like boat ramming, I don't. Anyway, so... Uh, this is practice for if we have to ever leave a mooring in the future and we don't have engine for some reason, we need to know how to do this. Right, yeah, This and this is, of course, millions of different uh, ways of doing it, depending upon where you are, the shape of things, where the rocks are, and where the wind's coming from, but the wind's on our nose. So we're going to pull the jib up, uh, and first mate's going to pull the jib up and immediately pull the anchor in, and the bow should fall off uh, to port. If it doesn't, then I got the engine ready. And if we manage to start running into something, I've got the engine right. Anyway, let me spin it around and see what's going to go on. Okay, first mate said she wanted to be the one that... thinks I'm fishing? Yeah, not really. All right. Okay, let me, uh, let me get the uh, sheet ready on the port side here, get her tightened up a little bit, because that's, that's where we're going to blow off. Just one more time. I'm going to pull the jib all the way up, but I'm not, I'm, before I tie it off, I'm going to start pulling the anchor, just right. in case we have to drop the jib somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Right. Perfect. So yeah, light breeze, not too much wind, so this should work out okay. <clears throat> she should be able to... I should have had this ready. Now if the... the Alright, if the windlass sounds like it's really straining, I'm going to put it in gear and go forward to take the strain off. Because we don't want to strain the windlass. <clears throat> it winds behind us. We don't want to pull it in tighter. Oh, okay. We want to get some power going so we got steerage. I think we're ready to start. In fact, you're starting to <clears throat> Yeah. So we, I should have immediately tied that up. But this is just a learning experience. I think I should have just let that go while you were still turning. Come get this ready because now it should be going up right now. Well, we're good though. We could sail under jib alone. Oh, okay. Well, so I mean, we turning. we can uh, we're we're doing fine right now. So take your time and relax. All right, well, yeah, we're good. At least we're not headed towards the rocks. Yeah, we didn't hit these people over here, and we although we did go around the wrong direction, there was enough room between us and the rocks to make the complete turn. Phase <clears throat> the main up first, mate. Doing great. Now keep an eye on the battens, and if they start to go behind something, you know, the stiff parts, if they start to go behind a spreader, then we got to stop and lower it. There's the mysterious derelict. Hey. I am, hey, we did it. You did a good job. Let me get a shot of this. Mains up, jibs up. We sailed out of the anchorage. Okay, 
Derelict number one, the trimaran. It's been here for like five years. I'm gonna have to do some research to find out what to flip. Just because I'm curious. Derelict number two, the little, it's like a 22, 24 foot. They're both of them being dismasted. So we're gonna check those out. Goodbye, Cat Harbor. Thanks for the stay. It was wonderful as usual. First mate Anne Marie is come back and taking the helm after she got the sails pulled up and she is sailing us out. As you can see we're got about maybe a quarter five mile knots. out. 1.5 1 knots. Yeah, not much wind, huh? Yeah. The wind shifted from coming through the harbors to now it's uh, we're on a uh, we're on a close reach actually. Which means it's coming from pretty much the southwest. It's probably coming from the southeast, but it's coming around the island because we've had a southeast wind every morning. And I just want to say, whether you use this or not, <coughs> you did a really good job because you didn't want the boat to turn the way it was towards the rocks, but it did out of mind of its own. The wind pushed the jib and just spun, spun us 180. Or went no, what is it? Three one eighty. One eighty. And yeah. uh, but you handled it really well, and you took us out of the harbor. Well, kind of. Or towards sorta. the opening of the harbor. Yeah, we learned uh, you got to be kind of flexible. It was the comfort of having the engine idling in neutral, just in case. <laughs> and once we got turned around now, and we were starting to go by that boat, albeit a little close, well, we were powering by it. I shut the engine off. We did have wind right now because <clears throat> we're going with what the little amount is that we have. Yeah. It feels like there's no wind. But yeah. like I said, we are going like 1.3 to 1.5. But when we were initially facing the um, inlet, the you know, <clears throat> two harbors, yeah. it felt like it was windier than it was because it was blowing right at us. Yep. So I think that's why there was like kind of, uh oh. My size yacht headed south around Catalina. He's, he's headed uh, south, so he may be going to Avalon. And we are out of here. It's a majestic looking rock right there, isn't it? Just kind of looming up like that. You too, buddies. Well, it's warm enough and to all you people back east and up uh, to the north and northern California and up north of there sorry but yeah we're, we're shirtless and uh, barefoot and the wife's gonna put her bathing suit top on it's it's barely warm enough it's probably 65 ish 62 ish but the sun is uh, beating down on us pretty good and it feels really warm we've got the bimini top down so we're gonna uh, we're gonna sail along with uh, with a little bit more bare skin here. Anyway, we are, we sailed, uh, as I, you saw earlier, we sailed out of the, the harbor and we are been, we're 2.4 knots now. We've been up averaging about 3.5. We had a little bit of lack of a wind here and I'm expecting it to pick up in a sec. And uh, got a fishing line in the water. We're still on the Pacific, the windward side of the island, <clears throat> about Looks like two, two and a half miles outside the Cat Harbor entrance. And we're headed to the northwest to go around the tip of the island to head back towards uh, the San Pedro area. I uh, hate it. Hate, I hate this part of the journey. I want to stay out here forever. Anyway, but uh, totally under wind power, which is very cool. And we'll keep you updated from there. I'll give you a little shot of what's going on uh, on the boat here. Got uh, plenty of sun on the solar panels helping us out. We had we only ran the engine for a total of probably maybe five minutes this morning, and again it was out of gear and idle just in case we were going to bump anything. So we're, uh, we didn't get a chance to charge anything other than what the wind did last night and the solar panels are doing now. There's the first mate down there and uh, sails up. And that's west into the Pacific. The island was over here on our starboard side. And we are headed northwest. Well, about three miles, maybe four out from the entrance, uh, the winds died down a little bit. We're doing about two knots-ish. And uh, we're looking, the wind is coming from behind me. 
so that would be to the southwest and it looks like because the land is right there the big hill uh, it's it's probably the winds probably hitting and kind of forming a little higher pressure area and slowing down right here but right in front of us around this next corner where the wind is blowing across and able to go outside of the island it looks like we've got a lot of wind trumps so we're heading out to that and then we're going to sail out a little farther into it and then we'll tack over and head north there's a fellow sailor he's uh he's not using his engine at all and he's probably doing about two knots we got to get back unfortunately we're not going to get back until about 6 30 ish so we got to we got to use our engine so that we get back in and and uh, can get to working on a couple of things on the boat. Anyway, goodbye, Catalina. Thanks. Another wonderful weekend. Yeah, four to six footers. These are small. We've got a couple of really big ones. Probably had one or two eight footers, but four to six. Afternoon, you two buddies. A little afternoon report. It's about 2.30. Uh, washed and scrubbed uh, down the cockpit. Kind of made it a little bit cleaner in here. Oh, we've got full sails, as you can see. Um, skimming on the waves, we're doing there's 6.6. .6. We've been hitting uh, seven uh, on, the, on the peaks of the waves when we come down surfing them. There's seven. 18 nautical miles last check. Uh, so, yeah, about three hours out. And about three hours, 45 minutes. Got 45 minutes to get to our slip from the gate. So, we'll give you another update soon. Oh, yeah, the first mate is making her shrimp and pineapple concoction. Only didn't have any shrimp, so she's using uh, chicken. Uh, so that with rice, that'll be really, really good. Chicken, pineapple, spices. Turns out to be really great. And as you can see, she's down there making Dog Friday's lunch. There's Dog Friday's lunch. <clears throat> what do you think, Friday girl? Is that going to be to your liking? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Dog Friday is. Uh, she's Not good spoiled. to go. Folks, want to get a shot of this? Really, a lot of spices. I think it's going to be kind of hot and spicy. The hot and spicy with pineapple makes it really good. And chicken and rice. This ought to be really great. This, uh, she's made a video of her shrimp and spicy pineapple. Uh, you can look back through our archives. Uh, it's one of our boat recipes that she's done. So then you'll have an idea of what goes into this. Friday with her umbrella rigged up. Looks like probably four foot seas. You can see the wind chop. See the white caps out there a little bit just popping up. Uh, we're going with the seas and with the wind. So we got about probably 12 ish knots of wind. Afternoon, you two friends. It is Sunday afternoon, about 20 minutes to four. We are approximately six and a half to seven nautical miles out. Um, decent weather, four to six foot swells. Uh, got some white caps on it. So we got about 15 knots of wind behind us. I've uh, got a guy coming up behind us here, running a spinnaker. Got two more, three in front of us running spinnakers. It'd be nice if we had a spinnaker. Uh, there's a fishing boat going out full of Guy's going fishing. He is pounding into these six footers. He's probably gonna have some seasick guy support doing that. We are probably, from the looks of it, about three nautical miles out, maybe two. I see the lighthouse from here. This is quite unusual, you know why? Why? Well, obviously it's been winter for the past six months, but we haven't seen this many boats since last summer. I mean, usually we're going out and coming in, and we hardly see anyone else out here. Yeah. And there are so boats on the way. Six around us right now. Yeah. Made it to Earth. And the wind is blowing probably a good 20 knots in here, which it's known to do. Uh, loosen the 
Who's behind you? Oh, he's going straight in. He's uh, he's not here. First mate, China. She has uh, been sailing for the last five minutes. And we had to shut the camera off because we had a couple of exciting moments. The winds was 25 gusting, uh, 20 gusting to 25 over there. And uh, yeah, we, you know, we had a little too much main up, but the working was that long. I just let the main out and everything. Looks like we're going to be able to cut the corner there over to the uh, channel that we go down without having to tack again, which is cool. Good job, first mate. That was interesting. Yeah, that was enjoyable. That was, that was unexpected. Too bad the camera wasn't running. <laughs> well, that's, we had to save the boat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, first mate, isn't it nice to come in this under wind the, power? This is the This is Albella. Come in. Absolutely. We are headed down our channel. We're doing about 5.1-ish. Yeah, it's nice to come back without having to worry about uh, burning diesel for the last little bit of the trip.